How's it going guys? Trey Clark here as I usually am and I'm going to jump right into this as I usually do. It is time we change the conversation from can you believe what they're doing today? Can you believe what Greg Abbott did today? Can you believe that they're still making us wear masks? Can you believe that all these studies have been done and that it's actually worse to breathe in your own? They already fucking knew this stuff, okay? They already knew it. We're, we're the patsies. We're the dumbasses. They already knew these conversations were going to happen. Now, they needed to happen so that we could all kind of wake up a little bit and say, what exactly is going on? I don't know anybody who's died from coronavirus. Now, I have met two people recently who were tested positive after they got sick, and they were very sick. So I don't want to claim to, to play a doctor on this one, but I do know something screwy. I mean, you don't shut down the entire world's economy for a 99.7, 9.07, whatever, uh, mortality rate. No survival rate. Sorry. The, so something is screwy, but I think we've kind of run its course with can you believe what's happened today? Can you believe... These are criminal thugs. And they're under marching orders. That's the reality. You can't make sense of it. Okay? They're robbing you. It's like when someone shows up at your door with a gun to your head and you saying, but I'm a good person and this doesn't make sense. Wait, what was... Did, were you mistreated by your father? They don't give a fuck. They're going to... They don't care. That's who we're dealing with. So the days of us trying to reason with these fucking criminal thugs are over. Otherwise, you're just becoming part of the problem. So what do we do? We come to a consensus that we are being run by thugs. That is, the, at least get to that point. Okay, there's no, like, they care about our children or not. Okay, look. They abort babies, but they uh, put coronavirus patients in older folks' homes. But they care about humanity and children, and it doesn't make any sense. Okay, they keep abortion clinics open, but uh, and liquor stores open. It, it, no. So there's a group of people that is probably hoping for the best, just being careful. But they're being swayed right now, right? There's a group of people that is militant about this, and you will do this, or we will outcast you, and we will dox you, and we will humiliate you. And then there are people that are like, this doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm going to kind of do it, I suppose. I did it when I bought an extra pack of toilet paper. I didn't even know why I was doing it. I think most of us were there going... I mean, I guess there's something I don't know. There's that group. And there's the group that I've moved into. It's like, it's all fucking bullshit, and they are full of shit, and they have now waged war. And you don't get to pick your war if you're the one on the other end of, of the first fire. No. White middle class, or just middle class in general, does not want a war. But there's another group that does. They want your stuff. They're entitled to it. They think that someone like me has spent generations uh, enduring the benefits or reaping the benefits of uh, sins of someone somewhere with no real data uh, about me personally. But that's what it is. With my lineage, my heritage, I'm much more likely to have slaves as my ancestors than slave owners. But that doesn't matter to them. So once you realize logic is thrown out the window and they're waging war, then it's kind of shame on you if you kiss the ring at that point. War has been waged. And it's not a race war. It's a class war. Okay? Get that through your head. It's a class war. They have to get rid of the middle class. 
Anytime you're looking at, at what's going on, who is getting hurt? The poor are getting thrown money left and right. Uh, the rich, they don't suffer any consequences. It's the middle class. Why is that? Because the middle class is the moral gr uh, high ground of everything. The middle class is the elite's worst enemy. The middle class has families. They've worked for what, they've, what they have. Okay? They're not entitled. They're very dangerous and proud class. That's why you can look at any to totalitarian regime and you will not find a middle class. That's the first group to go. So the way they're doing that to us is they're crushing the middle class into the poor. And then they're going to let us just war. White people don't hate black people. I'm sorry, black people. I don't have time to. I'd rather have five black people working for me in an entire black neighborhood of good people than piece of shit freaking white people on meth and opioids. It's just reality. don't even know any people who wouldn't say the same thing. And I'm in the white boy club, okay? So get over it. And if you're just new to that kind of concept, just ask. Look around. Okay? But then it gets deeper. The main thing, and this goes back centuries, and this is going to sound crazy, but I've been talking about it for a while. It's all coming out with all these arrests with sex trafficking and child trafficking and all this stuff. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome, adrenochrome, adrenochrome. That's all it is. They have all the money in the world to print, to spend, okay? Why does anyone have anything other but a good day? Why is that? It's because it's not enough. They need their youth. And adrenochrome is a real drug. Let me tell you what adrenochrome is. And you can look this up all on your own. I'm not even going to leave a link because... It doesn't matter. I'd be like, what? Would you put a link on the internet? I still don't get that part, but adrenochrome, adrenaline, chrome, Microsoft Chrome, huh? Who'd have thought? Bill Gates. Adrenochrome, oddly enough, looks like the white rabbit if you look at the molecular structure. Uh, is everything? It's all of it. All the rivers flow into the ocean. All of the angst in the world leads to the drug that comes from human sacrifice, especially the, the strong uh, stuff that comes from, from young people. It's legit. It is true. And it's so heinous that we don't believe it. We want to look away and go, just like whenever there's incest going on in a home, you go, oh, no, that couldn't be. Let's just pass the gravy. That's what we're doing. But I'm here to tell you, and so are a lot of other people, those days are over, okay? We have the information. We know that they are trafficking children and taking their, their bodily stuff. And let me explain to you what they do. They torture these kids. They just made a bus today with these soundproof containers, shipping containers, that had dentist chairs and all this stuff and five-point straps, soundproof containers, okay? This was today or yesterday. They put children in these chairs and they tortured them till they're just at a, at a point of just total misery and they shove a goddamn needle into their eye and up into the penile gland and they extract it. That's how it works. While the kid is screaming for mommy to come save them or to just die, there's a group of people standing around and their blood pressure isn't even going up. They're like, okay, just, you know, kind of like you, you cut the throat of a pig or something. You just, yeah, that's what they do. Anyway, we got to get this. And that there is worth about, you know, $40,000 uh, once we split it up. That's what it is. And until we realize what we're dealing with and why the world hates Donald Trump so much, it's not because he's racist. 
he wasn't racist till he was the only person to not be caught in the honey pot that actually has some clout. That's what it is. All these people squirming, going, Donald Trump is da 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 da. They're either following the bad guys or they are the bad guys. And don't think that the bad guys that hate Trump to a point where, I mean, I, I despised Barack Obama, but I never like got emotional about it. I was like, okay, hope he does well. He's a fucking idiot and he's probably a liar, but and like lose sleep over it. When you see these people going, why Trump? Ah! That's a red flag. That means there's more to it than you think because people don't, normal people don't act like that. That's not a normal response to my guy didn't win. That means my way of life is getting ready to change. And if it seems like the end of days right now, like things are getting very biblical, it's because they are. You know why? Because it is the end of the bad guy's days in this area. Okay, we've been doing this forever. Since Vlad the Impaler that drank the blood of his victims and all that kind of shit to the vampire stories up until now, the real world currency has been the blood of children. And they get skewed with all this kind of weird sex stuff and, you know, just read a little Crowley uh, to brush up on what's really going on. But it's real. And I've been made fun of. My skin is so thick by now, but I've been right every step of the way. Long before Epstein got arrested, long before the Podesta emails were, I just remember seeing artwork. I can't even remember where it started, but I was like, what the fuck is that? And I knew something was very wrong then. And it's not a, ha ha, I told you so, but it, it feels that way every step along the way, not because I want to be anything but wrong, but because I want people to go, I'm not a crazy person. Okay, I'm not this guy that wants these things to be true for any reason at all. I gain nothing other than if I can wake someone up and go, wow, maybe something is going on here. And then boom, you go down the rabbit hole. And speaking of that, I want you to go to Alice down the rabbit hole. Okay, and yes, it is a Q drop uh web or channel on YouTube, Alice down the rabbit hole. They're real active. It's two or three videos a day sometimes. Uh, and they're usually pretty short, but they kind of fill you in. Also NPC channel on YouTube. So a lot of us work together, not necessarily like, Hey, did you do your video or whatever? That's not how it works. We just kind of stay in contact. I'll come up with something. They come up with something. And we allow each other to steal each other's material because we're not doing this to become monetized. We're trying to literally make a difference. So it's not like in some of the other networks. It's like, whatever, you mirrored my deal. If you're watching this right now, mirror it. You can do whatever you want to it. Uh, but just share it. They're killing children. They're slaughtering them. They're torturing them. And they're doing it so they can stay young. It is a Luciferian concept. It is in every part of our society, from our government to our entertainment industry to, I mean, you just can't, to the education system to an extent, you know, to religion, it's all been hijacked. And the reason everyone is screaming bloody murder right now, pun intended, is because it's being overturned. These guys are getting executed at Mach 5. Okay, that's the reality. You're not going to see Madonna again. You're not going to see, you might see them in some sort of deep fake deal. You're not going to see the Pope again. You're not going to see the Queen of England again. You're not going to see Tom Hanks or Rita Wilson Hanks again. Okay, they're gone. So time will tell with this stuff, but their goal is to burn it down before the truth comes out. That's the catch. Burn it down. Riots. Burn everything down, and then when the truth comes out, we're going to be too busy to pick up the pieces of our own fucking miserable lives to, to make heads or tails of anything, because we can't even afford internet or our phone service. That's what they want. Wake up. Wake 
the fuck up now. Okay. All the information is out there. And if you are still so asleep that it's all just a conspiracy theory, then you are probably one of them. Think about that. Don't be one of them. Because you know why? Because God's army wins in the end. And if you're one of the sick fucks out there that thinks that you're going to be spared, you, my friend, are fucking wrong. Go fuck yourself. Cheers, guys.